tell me you're with the grandchild. It seems like problem, but Fred McMurray elevates it. Change happens over you. Change itself is the flood. Change itself is the saber-toothed. Change itself is the norm. My fear, though, is that the world is as it always was, and I just didn't see it. That a lot of us didn't see it, us men. I'm serious. We can't blame exogenous events. It's too easy. Our collective blindness has caused a lot of harm. We control so much, meddle so much. And to what end? We teach, yes, but we foist. I certainly do. I think I emerged from my mother's womb giving advice on how to deal with the umbilical cord. I'm seeing the piles of my life. And they're foreign to me. Everything I thought about the roles of men and women, I think is completely wrong. I have done exactly the wrong thing for both my children. You know, my daughter owns the apartment I'm living in. I thought you bought it, didn't you say that? My wife came up with that, our cover story. Now, my daughter bought it. My daughter, my daughter was dumped by her husband out of nowhere. That was her saber tooth. Instead of collapsing from the weight, she emerged stronger. A new person, so I thought. But now, I think, perhaps that was who she was all along. I never really took her seriously. My son, Noah, I took seriously. I would take him to Columbia with me every week so he could dream of what he could be. I don't remember if I ever did that for Miriam. I don't think it ever occurred to me. And as unfathomable as this career choice of hers is, she's doing it on her own with no help from me or her mother. Where did this come from? This strength, this fearlessness that that I never had, that my poor son never had. What could she have been if I had helped her and not ignored her, ignored who she really is? My daughter is a remarkable person, and I don't think I've ever said that to her.